All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode 30. Sevens is at its funniest again. <laughs> All right. So, the duel. Uh, let, let's talk about the duel. All right. Because uh, this is one feature of this franchise that I that I've fallen in love with. All right. The duel has its own script. Right. It's obvious. It's rather obvious, right? <clears throat> you play uh, the president of the the Wind Club, your aunt for their assistance. Kasi naba pala sila ni Lu sa isang wind instrument con, not a roller tournament. So lahi in lahi in sila yuga. So pero so I'm just out now. So they have to play wind instrument, clarinet, saxophone, lute. Ano ba yung mga So the president of this club happens to be. Luke's ate, elder sister. Lu, uh, Yuga eventually beats her. So, ako siya na to siya yun. Nani yung training nila. At medyo may pagkasadista palang mentor to si, si Tiger. Okay, yun ang pangalan niya. That's the name she here. It's a really good episode. <laughs> It's a really good episode. This, what, um, may na rin kong if ang, ang, Uh, what you call this? Ang series. It's not just. It's not so. It's not just. Uh, well, Gakot has his moments. moments. But the one constant coming here is Luke. <laughs> the one constant coming here is Luke. Ay, he could do it. He's a great duelist, right? He's really good, right? <clears throat> but that's not relief. Okay, all good. All the time, but he's scared of his big sister who constantly bullied uh, into well, uh, out of every sport. Makes even dueling. Tina alus na natin. But to show how much of a uh, his uh, his face. Okay. Pati malakas din. Kasi hindi emotion din. Uh, total package. A uh, two prodigy. Pero tinalo siya ni Yuga. Looks. Uh, uh, yeah. Hindi naman. <laughs> Alright. Ask when it comes to one of your seven. <clears throat> Flipper again. Duel. And. Uh, so it's backstory. Right. Not consume the entire episode for the backstory. Right. Unlike what, unlike what, I'm not All right. So, you said it's pretty. Two thumbs up. Right. Two thumbs up. First thing I want to add. Two thumbs up. So, um, well, there. What? Well, I hope the uh, unless that win instrument competition turns into a do it. So, uh, hats off, man. Uh, it's not just all right. They did. They did really good. They delivered really good episode. Uh, talaga na talaga. <laughs> During the entire like ang ang isang siyempre kasi kapatid niya mga yuga and so how dangerous are his his taste. Isang bisita. Oh, Sabi nang ganon yuga. Okay. Well, masang masang pagtira. Ang, ang kasi kasi sabi nang tutulong ng mano ng wind instrument. Right. Yeah. Pero siya ni yuga. He relented. You know, teaching the four now how to how to play wind instrument. So again, the seventh episode third. So the Well, let's just wait for the next episode, and I'm not going to not going to think about it. Let's just watch it. All right, King's Raid episode 14. I was supposed to uh, review seasons. Ah, uh, seasons. Episodes 13 and 14, but I um, but I just found out that uh, well, time uh, we got it uh, first half of this anime. So 14 now, <clears throat> the second half. So anyway, <clears throat> wait for this It's another involving the Black Edge so, uh, to lead to lead off the main party where uh, basically looking for demon. <clears throat> on third season. They bump into Mark. They bump into Mark. So, I'm going to go for it. It's a yeah, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. and to see to see Klaus uh, now now walking, all right, walking and he's guiding this and this process to on or the enemy says to the commander of the knights, all right, the supreme commander. So and then I vote and the princess that castle is always all quest to win the game. Uh, give us a heads up on what on what Celis do out there. Uh, this party. You And haven't you noticed? King's Raid itself as an anime that uh, that features uh, that showcases two two kinds of uh, two kinds of good. Well, um, well, 
Castle is the main is the main hero here. While Rick, but they're both but they want uh basically Castle wants also like to focus on the air sword. And of course Rick just wants revenge. Or, this is an anime sent in two points, but on the same uh probably go we will probably see it on the same page because the black is possible and party also possible. <clears throat> and uh we hit the uh, locations to his in his hands, but I think Castle hates them. Castle hates them. So he's just starting to let his present uh three side across the two side. There are two sides to look at. He's presenting presenting now has a, has made if not has made a name presenting uh, two sides of good. Right, so it's so they're starting to, they're starting to be good at it. He's made episode 14. Two thousand side. This is two thousand. Why? Like I said, there are there are sides of good here. Side and side. I said a while ago, he is up for revenge. He's gonna be up for justice, right? He doesn't want to lose the son of king. He's because of the people. And he wants to have a lot of his other sword and taking it as as his own. Shall we gamet? Shall we use the uh it's a good thing? The small book was preparing the resurrection of the boss pieces of Orvelia, right? I don't I don't know about I don't know much about the politics here is as his own from as his own his own right. And we could keep it. They just have a tent. I want to be able to do it. Yeah. King just sold. Two thumbs up. I can't wait for you. You know what I'm saying? What's next episode? Leon? Come on. Yeah. Alright. So, like I said, um, they're always back. And overall, again, like I said, uh, I, I hope you didn't catch, uh, I hope you caught wind of that. It's a really good episode, okay? 50% fan service, 50% action, right? <clears throat> the two, uh, the twins, and their, um, should I say, Karobata, right? It's in, it's in Tagalog. Uh, it's said it in Tagalog. Um, uh, let's go. Let's say a childhood friend because, um, well, uh, anyway, Hisui, all right. So the twins in Hisui are getting their asses kicked by this by this fork pedal. We're able to use that and wow, okay, Ooh. everything, base, base, the plot, the flow. Yep, so good. Deliciously good. <laughs> Deliciously good. And, okay. No. Let me cite the character development. Okay? Particularly for Setsuna. In case Setsuna, unti unti lang, ane, kumaga, most of the character development in the previous epi episodes has been centered around Setsuna. And, ito yung peak, right? May hidden ability pa na yung tong babaing to. It's called Poison Hand. So, pinakagat niya, yung kamay niya kay, doon sa, kay Totetsu, hmm, muntik na mapuruan. <laughs> muntik na niya malaso talaga yung isang four pairs. Muntik na maging dalawa, dalawang four pairs yun, nadadali nila. <laughs> kung, kung hindi siya tumakasagad, si Totetsu. So, again, it's a, it's a really good episode, right? So, Yashakime episode 13, Two thumbs up, okay, two thumbs up. I am so glad to see Miroho again, alright? Kasi, uh, when it comes to slaying demons, unang sumasabak sa, sa kalaban, si Miroho at si Inuyasha. So, it's great to see him back. It's great to see him again. And of course, si Sango, alright? Yeah, hindi mo talaga may aalis yun eh. Well, Sila, magkasawa sila eh. Alright? Sila yung una nagkatuluyan, then it was Inuyasha and Kagome. So, I think he will play, I think he will play a crucial role in this uh, spin-off. Kasi, he's the only one, he's the only one who can unseal Setsuna's abil hidden ability. Nothing goes wrong. World of the Secret Drifa finale. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, 
I don't know if you can uh, call that a kill, but Claudia proverbially kills Odin here. So, and um, they free the world from his madness, but but not at a but not at a but their victory wasn't easy because they lost the entire shield squadron. All right, the three Lolicons, yeah. In case you forgot, they are accomplished pilots themselves. So ni tatlong na papa tapo na mga jet fighter na sumusuporta sa apat. And just to protect, just to just to keep keep bogies off off Miyako's off Miyako's back, so that she can accomplish her mission of destroying the Vandran inside Thor. Ane, yeah, parang ganon eh. Inside the inside the pillar, they did everything uh, they can to to keep Thor from from taking out Miyako. Right. Uh, so eventually, Miyako accomplishes her mission, and Azo came came face to face with Thor, with uh, with Odin himself. So distraction. Hmm. What was he? Miyako. Shook. Vandran. So that made uh, I don't know. Uh, that made Odin retreat. So now yung pillar. The world is free. The world is free from his madness. So in uh, the three Lodigons are now dead. Okay. They made the uh, well at the end of the, <clears throat> after all it's said and done, overall. It was a good episode. It was a really good finale. Okay. Um, someone from the good guys died. Three of them. And uh, in the end, well, uh, four became six. Okay. So, we had two new friends there. From, I think, the... I think that was from the north. From the north. Uh, from the other base in Japan that uh, really destroyed. So, we were still there. And, well... There are now six Valkyries in Tateyama. So, the, so yeah. Pace, flow, uh, a block which carried over from from episode 11. Ganda. Um, wow. Talagang, talagang finale yung dating. Talagang finale yung dating ng uh, episode na to. Right? Kaya pala, ganito yung key visual. You see Odin right here? Uh, I don't know if you can. Okay. You see Odin right here. You see Odin. Ah, uh, okay. You see Odin at the top. Okay. Kaya pala ganyan ang key visual. Odin. Odin was behind all of this. Okay. Siya ang pulut tulo ng lahat ng lahat ng uh, what you call this? Lahat ng kalokohan ito. Right. He has been toying with the human race for five years, right? Para masunod yung layo niya na manalo sa sarag na rock. So what? Humanity just gave it to him. Kick them out. Kick them out of the. Kick them out of Midgard, basically. Right? It's a really good episode. It was a really good. It was a. It was a really satisfying finale. Right? It was a really satisfying finale given to. To, to a series finale. In case anybody hasn't noticed, A1 Pictures is the animate were the animators of this. Or the animators of this. Same guys behind Sword Art Online. Right. That studio is known for the Sword Art Online franchise. Okay. Now well, I, I'd like to say thank you and congratulations to A1 Pictures for uh, delivering a really good alternative to Sword Art Online. All right, uh, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not an SEO fan, okay? and I haven't seen any of their seasons or OVAs or movies. Nope. <clears throat> when it when it comes to Isekai animes, oh, um, probably only. Only three stand out to me. Inuyasha, 
Long Horizon, and more recently, I'm standing on 1 million lives. Right? So, Kaisen, episode 13. First and foremost, Happy New Year to all the Jujutsu Kaisen fans, alright? So, um... Here's how a backstory should, um... <clears throat> should be told. In the middle of a battle scene, when the character involved is facing death in the eye. <laughs> Ito! This is the proper way of telling a backstory, okay? This is the proper way to do it, okay? Attack on Titan should get pointers on Jujutsu Kaisen. Alright? <clears throat> Itadori has proven himself to be Makito's rival. Okay? They are evenly matched. Kung tumuloy yung divergent fist ni Itadori, yung talagang tagos na tagos, walang matitira kay, walang matitira kay Makito. Alright? And if it were for Sukuna's in interference, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what this OP villain is, uh, how he thinks. No one knows how he thinks. Okay, he is a, uh, he is one psychotic son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, isang kalabin lang yung ganon kay Makito. Ayon, napuruhan, right? And um. Maito could have probably walk right now. <laughs> Alright. Pero, um, nanamin o si tu, nanamin o si tu itadori for save, saving his life. Kasi talagang nagdobain expansion eh. Si, si Makito. Nagita yung nangalan talaga ng kamatayan si nanamin at that point eh. Kaya nag, kaya nagkaroon bigla ng backstory, ng backstory niya yung kumaga flashback moment. So, and yeah, and well, Itadori made a vow that he will never ever lose again to Mahito. He, 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 obviously, he's taking that as a loss. Okay, napabayaan niyang tumakas. Right? Overall, it is a fucking good episode. Okay? It is a fucking good episode. Yung taste niya, okay, carry over. From the last episode, he said, "Ilulun yung laban." The flow of it, oh yeah, okay. That backstory was well placed. Okay, that backstory was well placed. Then, of course, the the plot for it, and um, nakita sa yung yung snippet na ng Jujutsu. That Itadori is coming back to Jujutsu Tech. Okay. So well, yeah. I repeat, it is a fucking good episode. So Jujutsu Kaisen episode 13. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Because well, they have uh Makito and Itadori have accepted each other as rivals, okay? Talagang, the next time these two meet, talagang patayang umati ka buto. Right? The next time these two meet, I guarantee you, patayang umati ka buto. Okay? I would love to see them go, go, at, each, go at each other's throats again. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy watching that, eh, watching that moment. Okay? Tapos, uh, well, um, I think I think uh, I think Itadori has come has already come to terms with what uh, what he has to do or what he needs to do as a jujutsu sorcerer. So, medyo tanggap na niya na uh, death comes a dime a, death comes a dime a dozen when it comes to jujutsu. Right. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode thirteen. Two thumbs up, right? Okay, so it's gonna be a brand new arc in the next episode. So um, I am not sure if if JJK is going to take a break next week. So we'll see, right? We'll see.
Attack on Titan Season... Oh. Final Season Episode 4. Well, the usual Marlian uh, way of life. The usual uh, Eldian... Uh, Eldian, what you call this? Put-ups. Right? Then, final scene... Eren appears. Alright? So... Um... I found the, uh... 90% of this episode boring. Okay, to tell you the truth. To tell you the truth. Okay. Overall... It's a, um... It's a decent episode. Okay. It is a decent episode. Mainly because of the final scene. Okay. And a major announcement is going to be made. Yeah, in that final scene supposedly but we'll never know what the announcement is until we watch the next episode right so attack on titan final season episode 4 on top up excuse me okay so uh, as i was saying if it weren't for that scene, okay, if it weren't for that scene, I might have given it a lower rating. I might have given it another one thumb down. Okay, so I realized that um, this episode would be crucial for the next one. So probably a build up. Well, we don't know until we watch it. So again, Attack on Titan final season episode four. One thumb up. Alright? That's all I can say. Noblesse Finale. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Rizal came in full force. Full strength siya kay Raskreya dito sa in The matchup I have been waiting for has has arrived, okay? Rizal versus Raskreya. Okay. Noblesse versus Lord. Wow. Alright. Um, Raskreya was finally able to prove herself. Kasi, <clears throat> ang challenge sa ang challenge sa kanya ni, ni Rizal, hanggat di mo ko nasusugatan, you will never have, you, you will never have the power that is due to a Lord. Basically, ganon. Nagsalubungan ng Bloodfield, nasugatan si Rizal dito sa piece niya. Parang duckless lang nagra, pero he bled. Okay? Yung, he bled. Rizal gave another sword. Mukhang mga sa kamay niya, ganun eh. Alright? It's another Ragnarok. Kumbaga, um, siguro ang nangyari doon, <clears throat> Ragnarok's original wielder is the former lord. Uh, close friend ni Rizel, yung tatay ni Raskreya. Hinati sa dalawa, minana kay Raskreya yung isa, tapos yung medyo malapad na handle, <clears throat> pinatago muna kay Rizel. Pinatago, pinatago muna sa kanya. So, muntik na mabatayan na kat eh. Alright? But, um, suddenly, the, the former lord's the former lord's ghost appeared so yun nga in explain niya lahat <clears throat> hindi pala eh, hindi pala siya pinatay nagpakamatay right in order for <clears throat> the new generation of clan leaders to to be ushered in kasi yun ang gusto niyang mangyari ngayon sa Lucidonia because the world around them is changing. Okay. He, he has he's realized that fully. Okay. Unti-unti na silang nasasapawan ng mga ordinaryong tao. Okay. The, the normal humans. So, um, as a, um, to set things off, he kills himself. So, yun nga. Emotionally distraught si Raskriya, he suddenly, be, suddenly becomes the Lord. <clears throat> Tapos, unti-unti nang namamatay, namamatay na isa-isa yung mga senior clan leaders. Except si Gedutel, of course. So, nagpapalitan na yung mga, yung mga bata. 
Yun ang sumalubog kay Ryzen nun. Wala. Tae. Tae ang power sila kay Ryzen. Wala, ginagano lang. Para nang hahawi lang ng langaw. That goes to show you how OP the main pro tag is. Alright? So, everything... Um, total reconciliation ang nangyari. So, magkasundo na sila uli ni, ni Roscrea. And, <clears throat> we found out here that the accusations against Ryzen are totally baseless. Okay? It's totally baseless. Meron lang talagang nag... Uh, nagkalat na merong talagang nagkalat ng chismis na Ryzen is the enemy now because he is the noblesse okay ang function pala ng noblesse is to punish lords and nobles kaya pala ganun kalakas ang kapangyarihan ng ng Ryzen na to no wonder he is so OP okay yun ang yun ang official function niya as the noblesse He works closely with... He should work closely with the Lord. Yan yun, yun talagang ginawa niya sa father ni Raskreya. Kaya naging... Uh, kaya naging well, sort of magkaibigan sila. Alright? His loyalty is to the previous Lord, si... Yung tatay ni Raskreya. Right? <clears throat> so, everything... Everything has been reconciled. And... Uh, and... Uh, Team Noblesse, as, uh, as I would fondly call them now, uh, they went back to Japan and went their went their normal lives there. So that's how the final. That's how this anime ended. Overall, it was a totally unexpected finale. Okay, <laughs> akala ko magpapatayan sila Ryzen at Raskreya dito to see who's more powerful. Pero. Uh, <clears throat> Ryzen being the noblesse issued a challenge to the current lord yun nga hanggat di mo ako nasusugatan hindi mo ma hindi mapapasayo ang talagang kapangyarihan na dapat ay nasa dapat ay nasa lord ng Lucidonia so kaya pala may ipinatago pala sa kanyang uh, what you call this half ng sword na, na Ragnarok pinatago siguro sa kanya ng previous lord that until siguro binis sa kanya that until Raskria proves herself that she's worthy to become worthy to be a lord do not give this to her so, yun ang baka yun nga talagang bilin sa kanya eh, itinago niya muna yung one half ng Ragnarok so when the, when the ghost disappeared yung dalawang Ragnarok magsama ayun na <clears throat> naipamana na kay Raskria wow the pace the flow everything Ako, <clears throat> it was a totally unexpected ending. Hindi ko na-expect yun. Hindi ko talaga na-expect yun. Uh, that they, they would leave, that all of them would leave Lokidonia alive. Alright? Pero, sabi doon, until, until Lokidonia um, still needs the power of the noblesse, Ganon pa rin na magiging buhay doon sa Lukidonia. Parang, gan- parang ganon yun eh. Until Rizal's power is, is Rizal's uh, power and authority is still needed, he will still be a factor in Lukidonia's um, Lukidonia's political arena. Baga. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Talagang we now know how how OP Rizal is. Okay. We know how <clears throat> eh, mga clan leaders, may mga sarili soul weapon niyan eh. Ang lalakas din eh. Meron gano'n, hawin lang niyan gano'n. Puk, puk, puk. Para nang hahawi lang ng langaw eh. <laughs> Tagilag yan. Para nang hahawi lang ng langaw eh. Para may, parang, para may dumapong langaw na sa pagkainan niyan, hinawi lang niyan gano'n. <laughs> para nang makain niya uli. It's like, like some, like a fly just, like a fly just dropped on his ramen and just, just shoes it away just to eat it again. <laughs> Arang ganun eh. Okay, so, noblesse finale, two thumbs up. A, bitin, two thumbs up. Bakit? Kasi, <clears throat> you know what? Noblesse deserves a season two. 
more than its fellow uh, Holy Trinity. More than God of High School, even more than Tower of God. I would hype myself up more for a Noblesse Season 2 than a God of High School Season 2 or even a Tower of God Season 2. Ito talaga yung uh, ito talaga yung manual na talaga nakarelate ako eh. Because here's an OP here's an OP main pro tag who who just desires to become to lead a normal life. Okay? He is the noblesse who has the uh, who has the sole authority to punish even the Lord. No wonder his power is scary. Okay? Crazy strong. Talagang OP na OP ang kapangyarihan ni Ryzen. So, if you ask me, again, I'll, I'll repeat it. Noblesse deserves a season 2 more than God of High School or even Tower of God. Alright? Because the way the the way the lead characters carry on their lives, eh, you can relate to it eh. You can relate to it. Bino mo, si Ryzen, si Regis, at si Sela, mga estudyante. Barkada nila yung May parkada silang dalawang ordinaryong tao rito. Uh, si Tao, si Takio, at si M21, security personnel. Si Frankenstein naman, ang headmaster ng eskwelahan na pinapasukan nila. Pinapasukan nilang lahat. But in reality, siya ang uh, right-hand man ni Rizel. Kasi naka-blood... Naka <clears throat> naka-blood pack na sa kanya, naka-blood pack na, uh, naka-blood pack na sa kay Rizel. So, wherever Rizel goes, he must go. So, whatever Rizel says, goes. He should not question that. Okay. Pero, right hand man, parang putang ina, lakas din. Ang <laughs> lakas! Punta, nakakatakot din. Nakakatakot din yung, fa- yung power ni, Frank- ni Frankenstein. And to, and to also think that Frankenstein is also a scientist. Okay? Tinutulungan niya yung tatlo, si M21, si Takyo, tsaka si Tao, to, in order for them to reach their full potential. The safe way, not the induced way. Okay? And I think um, Frankenstein is already aware of what M21 can do. Siguro naikwento sa kanya ni Rizal yun. Kasi, di ba, in one episode, medyo inalak ng saglit ni Ryzen yung full potential ni M21, yung naging werewolf siya. <laughs> Utang ina, werewolf pala to. So, ikakasigaw ni Ryzen, you'll have to discover, you'll have to unlock that power yourself. Pag nagawa, but, of course, pag nagawa ni M21 yun, he is unstoppable. He'll probably be as OP as Frankenstein. Right? And I think, yeah, I think Frankenstein is well aware of that now. Siguro, siguradong naikwento sa kanya ni, ni Ryzen yun. It's an awesome anime. Okay? One of the best of 2020. One of the best 2020 threw at me. <laughs> Talagang sulit ang utak at oras ko rito. Amongst all the Holy Trinity of Manwa, for me, Noblesse is the best. Noblesse is the best. So again, Noblesse finale, two thumbs up. And I will repeat it again. Repeat na again pa. Noblesse deserves a season two more than Tower of God or even God of High School. Another um, auspicious week for me and my anime reviews, but don't mistake this for the fact that 2020 has been anime's greatest year. I know it's a bold statement, but um, for me it is. Compared to 1989, we got more new enemies this year than probably that. <clears throat> Notwithstanding also the fact that we, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. That didn't stop me from watching these new enemies and reviewing them. 
this week we've seen uh, another two animes uh, say their goodbyes, not just to uh, not just to us anime fans, but to to 2020, right? The Bless and Warner to Secret Dream Fight. Overall, it's been uh, yeah, it's been anime's greatest year, and I am so glad to be a uh, to well still be seen enough to to see it, I mean, to witness it. Ever since I took on this, um, this anime reviews thing back in probably uh, during the spring of during the spring of 2020. I thought, what have I got myself into? <laughs> the stage is work, and I and I have a thousand excuses not to uh, not to go through with it. But I thought I love watching animes, even at my age, forty-seven. Why don't I um, watch and review some of these new animes? While on lockdown, almost ten months later, uh, I said goodbye to uh, to another to another great anime season. If not, if not one of the best fall anime seasons ever. I've reviewed as much as 12 animes this fall, and wow, more to come this uh, winter 2021, because, well, aside from having six holdovers from, from previous seasons, I've included eight new ones, not exactly eight new ones, but um, to be specific, to be accurate, to be more accurate, I'll be reviewing, aside from the six holdovers, six anim six returning animes, one that's part of a franchise, but a, new, but a relatively new one, and an absolutely new anime that, that has been announced for airing last uh, for the summer but due to the you know what it has been pushed to this month January so I have to get that priority because it, it has been delayed the airing has been delayed so I'll be reviewing that one so all in all we're looking at 14 enemies to be reviewed this this winter anime season. It's winter 2021 now. <clears throat> and what a way for um what a way for both Noblesse and Mortal to Secret Dripa to end. They they aired their finales during the last during the final week of 2020. Okay. We're seeing um, we're seeing some some of the holdovers having their breaks this week, but um, it's okay. Um, it'll make the grind, uh, it'll make the grind a lot easier. But anyway, uh, I love doing this, and I'm, and as long as there are, as long as there are new animes up for, up for watch and review, yeah, you'll still see me do this. Live on Twitch, then of course, translates that to Digest here on YouTube. With that being said, thank you all for uh, watching these anime reviews of mine. And coming into 2021, expect more from me. And well, I'm praying that you will be, you will still be there to watch the next. Uh, watch the next digests and yeah basically yeah I'm just saying thank you 
for sticking it out with me up until this digest. By the way, this digest officially closes volume 2. So by next week, there will be an entirely new volume. We'll, be, we'll actually be starting that volume with a sort of a uh, sort of a transition digest because uh, we'll only see one or two uh, one or two of the latest members in our review roster that will to be to start their airing, but, but it'll mostly be uh, the six holdovers. I'm only making this video to uh, to complete this digest, all right, but. Uh, I've told you my plans already and well as usual if you want to see these if you want to see these reviews live and uncut there's my twitch username look me up follow me and every time I stream watch me okay if you can't if you really can't afford to uh, to just Wait around on YouTube, on my YouTube, on my, my, on this channel of mine, just for the latest digest. You want to, if you want to see them live and uncut, there's my Twitch. I'll be seeing you there, guys. And my like stats on YouTube. Well, again, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out at this point. And well, I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the new volume. So for everybody on both Twitch and YouTube, see you in volume three.